It was overwhelming. I uh, I don't know what I expected. I really felt like when the game was over, people would leave, and amazingly, <laughs> most of them hung around, or a lot of them hung around. And uh, for me personally, it was a fitting way to go out. I mean, I I thought the program was cool, and uh, I uh, I'm officially retired. <laughs> You, did you make a promise to yourself, I'm not going to cry? Because I saw that handkerchief was ready at the, after the broadcast. No, I did not, because I knew I would. Okay. Um, as I said, when I got the call from Joe Girardi driving downtown today, I started crying in the car, oh. and I knew it was going to be a rough day, and uh, I was prepared for it. Uh, I thought I was going to get through that up out there until Jim Day brought up the dragonfly, dragonfly. and then I knew I was done. Uh, it, it, was a, it was a very special day. I'm thankful. and. Uh, it, it went off without a hitch, and uh, it was a great crowd. Uh, it's not the kind of crowd they would have normally had, which uh, I think is wonderful for me personally. And uh, at the same time, I'm glad it's all over. How much did it mean to have Joe's family there for, to wrap up everything? Well, it meant everything. Um, you know, 31 years we were together. And the only ones that had been that long were Ben and Jerry Doggett in L.A. And uh, we just had a very special relationship for 31 years. And the longer we went, the closer we got. And um, I, I just can't imagine having a, a partner that you got along so well with as I did with Joe. In 31 years, I don't think we had a crossword at each other over four times in 31. I got along with Joe, but I got along with either of my first two wives. I mean, it was incredible. So it was very special having Kim and Bonnie there today. I don't know if you thought about it. One last thing. You're walking down these steps last time as a broadcaster, yeah. as an employee of the Reds. Did it hit you at all? No, not really. No, no, not, no, no. Too much else going on. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll, I'll be around. I think a lot of people thought when I made call the final out today, I was going to automatically drop dead and I was going to leave. Um, but I'll be around. I'm going to work with the club and making appearances and such as that. And I appreciate the fact that they, they think that I can help them down the road. So... While I'm not going to be broadcasting baseball, I'm still going to be around and, and still living in this city, and that's the most important thing to me. Well, one last thing. The players saluting you at the end, what did that mean to you? That was cool. That was cool. I'm sure there's some guys that didn't want to do it. Uh, I think they did it as an idiot from the manager, David Bell, but they did it, and, and, and that means an awful lot to me. There's a number of players on this club that I feel like I'm pretty close to, none more so than Tucker Barnhart and... Uh, so I appreciated that too. The, the admiration, uh, if not some, then all of it, or if not all, then some of it, uh, was from the heart, and that's the most important thing to me.